Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to play Castle Ball. It's Mr. Bellamy uh, coming in at you with a new game. So, Castle Ball you can either play with some hula hoops, you can use cups, or you can use anything you can build with that's going to be kind of sturdy, that's not going to get broke if it, it's not fast. So the way you're going to build uh, your castle with hula hoops is you need six hula hoops. You're going to lay the first one down on the ground. See if I can get back far enough. I'm going to move you so you can hopefully see this a little bit better. So you're going to take your first hula hoop, set it on the ground. Then you're going to take two and three and you're going to put them together. The most important part is to remember to keep these two pieces together. So you may have to hold that or if you're lucky and you got a balance just right, you can have that sit there. So you're going to take number four and you're going to set it inside the hoop and then you're going to just bring it down and let it set on top of that. That should hold it a little bit better. Number five hula hoop. I like to hold right here just in case I bump it, it doesn't fall apart. And there you go. Last but not least, you put your topper on it and kind of helps hold it. Uh, if you're using cups, you can either build a tower out of it and you can build the tower at different heights. You can go with three. You can build the cup stacking tower. Using your six. And then the kids will use you can either use a yarn ball or a gator skin ball and you're going to stand at the middle line of the gym well you can be anywhere on your half of the gym I use the whole basketball court for this so we usually set them up somewhere along the back line we'll set them up somewhere between the black line and the white line uh, on the floor and so between that line and this line all the way back they'll set their uh, the castles up once they have their castle set up and we blow the whistle teams will take turns throwing trying to knock down the castles so if a ball hits it uh, then it will fall down uh, or with your cups, if a ball hits it, running out of balls, or your dog hits it, knocks it down. Now I let the kids rebuild the uh, castles once they've been knocked down. They can rebuild it as long as not all of them are knocked down. When everything's knocked down, game's over, the team that knocks them all down wins. I also kind of have, if you have most of it, so if your tower or castle will stand up without you holding on to it, or you have at least three cups, if we're doing the cup tower, you have at least three cups restacked, um, then the game's not over yet. You have to have everything knocked out for the groups. All right, that's Castle Ball in a nutshell. Have a great day. Get out and play. Get your 60 minutes. Enjoy this beautiful weather, unless it's snowing.